This is Mike Gordon at Ray's Mountain Bike Park in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and today I'm going to teach you how to foot jam with some variations. Um, first, starting off for a foot jam, you want about the same amount of speed if you were going to do an ice pick, um, a toothpick, or a disaster. So coming into a foot jam, you want about the same amount of speed as you would use to ice pick, disaster, or toothpick. Um, you want to spot where your foot is going to be going into your tire and just plant it in there. When you're leaving the trick or exiting, when you want to land it, you want to lean the bike into the quarter and you want to hop in the direction you're traveling. So you would hop out and travel that way. Things that can go wrong with a foot jam, you can go too slow and you're not going to make it up the ramp. Your front tire is not going to make it, you're not going to get into the foot jam. You can miss your tire with your foot and you'll simply flip forward or backwards. Ways to prevent this are use your eyes to spot where you want to put your foot. Get, make sure you have enough speed to get up the ramp and make sure you're leaning over your bars far enough that your back end doesn't keep dropping. You also don't want to lean too forward because you'll go over the head. Ways to prevent this are just pretty much practice and getting comfortable with your foot. Once you get comfortable with your foot jams, you can do other variations of the foot jam. You can do a can jam. You can do a Vader jam. You can can Vader jam. And you can candy bar Vader. So when you want to try and perform a can jam, it's pretty simple. You want to lift your knees to your chest. And as you're lifting your foot over, you want to spot where your tire and your foot are going to meet and just plant it. Make sure it's pinched, not back here. You want it right up against the forks so it doesn't roll. Another variation of a foot jam that I like to do is the Vader jam. It's simply taking your foot and putting it on the front of your forks and you want to wedge it in between your bars and you want to lean a lot more forward for this trick than you do for any other Vader that I know of because your foot is on the front of the forks, you don't have the same leverage. The more forward you are, the less pressure you need on your foot. Once you get comfortable with the foot jams in this video, you might be getting a little bored. So, other steps you can do with foot jams, one of my favorites is where I go into Vader and I simply take my hands off. There's many other variations of this trick, but those will be in another tutorial. This is Mike Gordon at Racine. <laughs> this is Mike Gordon at Ray's Mountain Bike Park in Racine, Wisconsin. <laughs>